Then there was the other one of re-examining some of the things and the ways that we do things. And a really classic example of that um, was our receptionist or our person at front of house, who every day used to pick up the mail satchel and walk down to the post office and get the mail out of the PO box and bring it back to work. Now, for a start, we said, right, well, for a start, we're actually not getting a lot of mail now. So why are we still doing that? And the other thing is, actually, I don't even think the post office is actually putting mail in our PO box five days a week anymore. So, you know, why are we doing this? And so now we find, oh, okay, actually, that's a good point. Let's just clear the mailbox two times a week. And so all of a sudden, there is, you know, um, an hour and a half from the receptionist week, which she can now do something else with rather than, you know, doing what she's always done. And so there was a whole lot of, like, asking questions about why we do things a certain way, particularly when it came to unproductive time. But the time that we spend with our clients and the time that we um, are working on um, the client's books and things like that, that hasn't changed a lot. So it was more focusing on how can we get rid of the unproductive time? How can we stop the pick up and put down? But then also, how can we educate our team to be, you know, we have to make sure that they've got the right tools to be able to do the job that they uh, that we want them to do. And, and part of that, too, but but without taking the fun away from work, like we still want to be a fun place to be. We don't want it just to be a work factory. Um, so, yeah, it was a real balancing act, really. But, yeah, I think, um, yeah, over time we've um, managed to achieve it. So it's great. 